to mean But his world that's called Lahore Is what his freedom means and more The woman who brought up the boy Around his neck she put a toy An amulet to help him find the truth But it's hiding in the lies And so he wanders the endless road The boy called Kim He goes into the sunset And follows the dream that he After having saved Redbeard from execution, Kim faces the most difficult assignment, saving India from war. He decides to go to the Punjab to meet up with Redbeard. During the trip, the rebels throw Kim into the waters of the river and he disappears. When the rain comes, someone will come, and somebody else will leave. I wonder who's supposed to arrive? Your mother gave them to me when she left you here the night the English occupied Lahore. Do you remember the prophecy? Along the road you will meet a red bull that will guide you to the great man that will change your destiny. And those flowers, Salima, can you tell me what they mean? You will discover that at the end of the trip. <laughs> you will discover that at the end of the trip. But I thought I was at the end of this trip. Is it still true, Salima? Salima? Oh, dear boy, I am not Salima. My name is Arcana. Where am I? They found you on the pebbly side of the riverbank. No! Now I remember! The raft! The rebels! You've been between life and death for two days and two nights, but now you're better. My amulet! It's gone! Here it is. The pouch was tearing, so I repaired it. Thank you. Everything is inside, the metal and also the yellow flower. <laughs> it's strange. Many years ago, an English soldier showed me the same identical flower. A soldier? Yes. They picked him up, deprived of his senses, on the shores of the river, and they brought him here, just like you were. He spoke of huh? his wife and of his child. They told him they had died in a fire during the Black Year, but he didn't believe it. So he left the huh? army, and he started looking for them throughout India. Unfortunately, when he arrived here, he was already dying. He still wanted to reach the land of the Five Rivers, to be buried under the tree of the yellow flowers where he met his wife. His name was Ara, or something like that. Kimberly O'Hara, perhaps? Yes. 
Well, that was my father. Dear boy, sometimes destiny has a lot of fun playing with our lives. The land of the five rivers. I, I have to get there. You will, but first you must regain your strength. For that, you will take my infusions. <sighs> Welcome, foreigners. You seem tired, and you must be hungry for sure. Let me tell you with confidence you came to the right place. The right place is on top of the peak. Hmm. I have to say you're right. From up there, the eagle sees everything That's below. That's too bad, because ah, we're gonna burn its nest. Very well. I am delighted to see that you always have good answers. And tell me what's good on the menu. Everything, but if you want, I have some good cider down in the wine cellar. I've been waiting for you. This message is from our mutual English friend. Take care of it. For all the gods, it's too tight. It doesn't fit. It makes me look too fat. And this one is incredibly too large. How about if you just swap? <laughs> <laughs> what path will they take? There's only one well-traveled road that leads to the outpost. Teshu, since Kim left, you haven't spoken. Why? Your soul is silent? I believe so. In reality, it was me that didn't listen to it. And now it's spoken to you? Yes. I've been too conceited. I believe that to be free of the passions was the ultimate goal. But is hmm. it right to be free when your dearest friends are in perilous danger? Or is it better to stay with the one who has always shown you devotion? I think you already have the answer. Yes, I do believe so. In fact, I'm leaving to find Kim. I still think that it's foolish, Mother. But you can't understand, Greta. I love him. And you couldn't wait to get transferred to Delhi to get married to him? But who knows when he'll be able to get a transfer, darling? Well, this way, as soon as I'm married as wife of the commander, I'll have a right to the house. And you too, my daughter. But we had a house in Delhi. But we were alone and... <laughs> hey! Oh. What's happening? There's a man on the ground, in the middle of the road. Oh, they've killed him. I'm going to take a look, Lieutenant. Be careful. Hey, do you hear me? I think he's dead, Lieutenant. I knew it! It's an ambush! Huh? <laughs> Good morning, my beautiful lady. I see that you are doing much better now, my boy. You are impatient and you want to leave, right? I absolutely have to find the blind lion, Arcana, or it'll be disastrous. It's all right. I'll help you find the lion. I'm coming. Who are you? What is it you want? Let me come in. I'm hungry. It's nighttime for the gods. We're closed. At least give me shelter from the storm. Go to the hospice for the poor, you beggar. I don't do charity. Go away. Mm. Huh? What happened to the famous Punjab hospitality, I remember? Huh? Put me down, I beg you. What do you want? I'm a humble innkeeper with no money. What's up with all these black suits, Simic? Do you like to change suits? Who told you my name, stranger? You see, I'm in the business of finding out information, and they say that you are on the side with the rebels. And who are you? A friend of the English? The only friend that I have is called Peace, and lately she is not doing so well. You speak like a traitor! It depends on your point of view. In any case, I know that you have vital information on the plot, and I know that you will tell me everything. The only thing that I don't know is how long it will take. You're a coward! A traitor! I see that you are warming up, Zimok. I'll tell you what, I'll help you out a bit, seeing as how it's so cold in this cellar. Huh? What are you gonna do with that? No! <laughs> no! No! Ah, ah, no! 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 Blow it out! Blow it out! I'll tell you everything! Done. You are completely mad! Who do you think you are? Well, that didn't take long, did it? Huh? Hey, did huh? you hear something? What's that? It seemed like a girl moaning. Help! Stop her off, oh, Help, shoot. I pray you. Help me, please. Open up. Oh, oh, please, open the door. Who are you, woman? I am Mary Johnson. Please, open the door. Huh? 
and beaten like that? Where is she? This way, Commander. Mary! <gasps> darling! Robert! <sighs> what happened to you? It was terrible. They've killed everybody. Tell me who they were, Mary. They said they were the army of the pure ones. They are the men of the lion. But I don't understand. They've never attacked us before. They said they will eliminate all the English that dirty the Punjab. And that means they want a war with us. And where is Greta? No. Huh? Mary, didn't you hear me? Where is your daughter? She stayed in Delhi. She didn't come. Remember, never leave the path, and before this evening, you will be in Nakodar. How will I recognize them? They are young people in blue uniforms. How often do they come down to stock up? At least once a week. If you're lucky, you won't wait long, and you are lucky. Arcana, thanks for your help. Goodbye, my boy. Take care. Be careful. Hello, dear brother. What is all this commotion? All the borders have been closed this morning. All of them? Or only the one with Punjab? Well, that one, yes. Cursed English. We've come to sell livestock, but now we must return home. You could go to the Kashmir, and from there to Punjab. I know the road. I could lead you there. The path is too rough. We would lose the entire herd. But there were two strange men going to Kashmir. There they are. Let us not if you hurry, you can join them. Certainly. We all go. Wait! Mm -hmm. Hello, brothers. I know that you are heading to Kashmir. I have to go there as well. I could be your guide, or I could even keep you company. We have plenty of guides. We know where we're going, and we don't need any more company. Goodbye. Uh. Hmm. A dispatch has arrived from the general headquarters. One of our agents, acting as a double agent, managed to escape from jail. This is his photo. Huh? But this is Redbeard. It's not possible. Do you know him, Commander? He's our agent, and he's one of the best we have. The evidence against him must have been overwhelming if he was condemned to death. It's really difficult for me to believe that he is a traitor. No one would have imagined that the men of the line would attack us, but they did, with a fury. Hmm. Master! What do you want? All the potatoes in this basket are rotten. We have to throw them away. What? Never! But surely no one will buy them. The men of the lion are coming down today. They've asked for eight baskets. All huh? we need to do is put the rotten potatoes on the bottom, and when they will reach the fortress, they will think that they went bad during the long trip. Ha <laughs> ha! Master, you are more cunning than the most cunning fox. And you have a lot to learn. Now get out of here. They'll be here soon. Nice lesson, Dre, right? The men of the lion! Uh. Ah. Here we are. Yusuf, are the baskets ready? Of course. Beautifully fresh, straight from the field. Look at this beauty. The wagon is coming. As soon as it's here, load everything. Are you from the Army of the Pure Ones? Who are you, and what do you want? I'm a friend of yours, and I must absolutely see the Blinded Lion. It's important. Oh, yes? I can tell the Queen, too, if you don't mind. And you can meet the both of them. <laughs> it isn't a joke. I have some important things to tell him. Yes, certainly. Make a list written on a piece of paper so I can stop by to pick it up. Do you really think you're clever? You can't even tell the difference between a rotten potato and a good one! What are you saying, boy? Okay, Yusuf, I'm ready to go. I'll see you in a week. As for you, little bug, if you try to follow us, I'll shut you up once and for all. Hmm? Who are you? What are you doing? Do you want to ruin huh? me? Ruin you? No, if you'll do me a favor. Oh, oh, oh this is heavy! Oh, be careful not to drop it! Yusuf, there should have been only eight baskets! How come there are nine? Ah, uh, yes, because... because I've decided to give you a gift, that's why. Are you sure you're okay, Yusuf? You are the most greedy merchant that I know, and you give us a gift? Well, well I need to keep my clients happy. Hey, 
Hey, you! Who, me? Why are you following us? Take the other road. Go on! Are you saying I'm not free to choose my own road? There are other roads. Why this one? What's the problem? I don't want to move! Put your back into it! Come on! This is truly an animal of the devil. I now understand the phrase, stubborn as a mule. Now I shoot, so we see. No, no, wait! Don't frighten them! Huh? So, what's the trouble? Huh? Gentlemen, aren't you coming? Uh, whoa. <laughs> Mary, how do you feel? I'm still shaking, Robert. I, I need to rest. I understand, dear. I've prepared this room for you. No one will disturb you. I hope you like it. Thanks, Robert. There's one advantage to your daughter not being here. We get to have a moment. Yes, of course. Good night, Robert. Good night, Mary. I know that you are tired, old friend, but we did it. We've arrived. My daughter. She's safe and doing very well. Don't worry. I did what you wanted. Now give me back my daughter. But first we must do something. Then quietly. We'll all go together and we'll bring you to her. It's not possible. Could they be here already? <laughs> here we go. Can you tell me what you're going to do? Have fun with the gunpowder. Hey, huh? guards! Huh? Quick, call the commander. Stop her, I'll shoot you where you sit! Listen carefully. There are some spies in the fortress. If you don't stop them immediately, they'll blow up your supply of gunpowder. Sound the alarm! No, not like that! Get down from the horse and keep your hands where I can see them. I should have known. You don't understand. It's extremely dangerous. One more word and I'll shoot you on the spot. Get down. <clears throat> Listen to me, Captain. You must act quickly. There's no time to waste. Put him in irons! You don't understand! Come on, quick! quick. What's happening? I can't say for sure, sir, but they did sound the alarm. Bring him inside! Stop it! You're wasting your time. You must save your supply of gunpowder! You are wanted throughout all of India, Redbeard. From here, you won't escape. <laughs> Too bad for you! Oh, 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 get hurt. Stop! Hold it right there! One more no. step and I'll kill him! Stay there! Listen, you must go to where you... <laughs> well, I guess I was just a little too late for them. What an explosion. What the heck is going on here? Oh, the stables! They freed the horses! Get out of the way! We're soldiers of the lion, those dirty cowards. Mary! Mary, oh Mary. Uh, Robert. Oh Mary, you're alive, thank goodness! Oh Robert, they took Greta. Are they following us? No! <laughs> ah, the gunpowder storehouse! What an explosion! Not bad. But who raised the alarm? I don't know. Lee came late anyway. Where's Malik? He's back there somewhere. Anyway, he certainly knows to meet us in the cave. And now let us close the deal. Shall I go? No. 
You waste too much time. I know how you are. I'll do it. <laughs> Just do it fast. Who are you? Don't hurt me. Where's my mother? <laughs> no! <gasps> hmm? Huh? Malik! Who's that? No! No, please, no! Turn around! Don't do it, please! I have no choice. I don't want any witnesses! No, no! So you don't want to turn? Very well. Goodbye. Drop the gun! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! to save my daughter. Sir! Huh? Commander, come quick! Easy with her. Please, be careful. Huh? Greta! Uh. <sighs> Greta! They're all dead. I ran away. Are you terribly hurt? No. Mother was. Don't worry, she's alive. She will be so happy to see oh. you, darling. There was a serious attack against one of our outposts on Punjab's border. While the traitor Redbeard distracted the soldiers on guard, his accomplice, the men of the Lion, blew up the gunpowder storage. A disaster! Redbeard again? What in the name of Her Majesty is going on? Your Excellency, if there was ever any doubt, now everything is clear. The Lion is the head of the rebels, and Redbeard works for him. Mm-hmm. Colonel, now it's clear. Hmm. <laughs> For Vishnu's sake, it's so heavy! Help me, Malik! <sighs> you lift like a little girl, Azir. I told you he's all muscles and no brain. Huh? Who was that? Was that you, Azir? No, no! They've played uh? you twice today, big man! Half of the potatoes huh? are rotten! Uh? <sighs> and I've managed to get inside your fortress! Huh? And now, please, bring me to the lion! Seen. He trusts no one, the streets are mean But his world that's called Lahore Is what his freedom means and more The woman who brought up the boy Around his neck she put a toy And then he let to help him find the truth But it's hiding in 